Game three here momentarily. Thanks for uh, sticking with us and welcome to the EG Masters Cup. This is day two where we will after this match see the semifinals, the third place, uh, the first and second place, the finals, and then of course the final boss battle featuring EG Idra and the winner of this competition. We're loading up. Metalopolis is the map and remember EG Machine must win this one in order to stay alive. And it looks like the game has begun with EG Machine in the top position as the Red Zerg, with QXE in the right position as the Blue Terran, and I am torn as to who I think is in better shape this game. Ordinarily I would say, oh, Zerg loves having these close positions for Mutalisks, but QXE never stops attacking no matter what. So would not be surprised to see him begin with some Hellion Marine action straight into Banshees. I mean, it's worked for him in the last two games, so I don't know why he wouldn't uh, continue to try to work on a strategy that he feels can best his opponent. In this case, uh, just exactly that. So uh, switching on over now, um, I'm uh, the close positions, but as you said, I'm really curious find out mm -hmm. how that is going to uh, affect things here. So, uh, Machine, our Zerg player, is two games down, must actually win uh, this matchup in order to stay alive. And it does look like uh, QXC has ended up scouting around, has spotted this Overlord. We see a whole bunch of SCVs for QXC darting around the center of the map. Uh, definitely wanted to spot around for that Overlord. Just know the positioning in there. In the meantime, EG Machine is continuing to make drones. Doing his usual 14 hatch followed by 16 pool. He makes a whole slew of drones after that hatch goes down. Unless he's feeling a little antsy, but you know what? He spotted one Rax. He may have spotted this gas, but that would help him tremendously if he knew that information. Now, uh, typically you'll see a lot of Zerg go ahead and send their Overlord over and try to sneak the peak and then move him out of position. But Machine uh -huh. just basically came over and said, okay, I'm going to see what he uh, is going to do. Now, I assume that in order to kind of combat that uh, by giving that up, he didn't send a drone to scout and it's just having that one extra drone on minerals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of preference. A lot of players like to sneak away because they go, oh, now I can throw down my hatchery and you'll never ever block it with your SCV, which I hate so much. Um, but uh, some players like Machine just say, look, I just want to know exactly what you're doing. If you move the, uh, the Overlord away, you can never spot that, but I mean, Machine has the opportunity to spot things like this tech lab that went down, so that's going to be quite helpful. Reaper is coming out right now. EG Machine knows what's coming. He brings a whole bunch of drones down. Definitely, definitely using his read on his opponent. <laughs> Look at that QXE going, oh, yeah. well, if you have half your drones here, I guess I, guess I won't bunker. Yeah, that was actually great timing then. He just goes ahead and transfers them right over to this newly built hatch. But he's going to keep this one drone on that SCV just to make sure nothing crazy happens. And there's that early spine crawler, which I really like. If you're going to be in this position, if it's going to take a while to get your Zerglings out, you might as well. Now, first Reaper is out. And interestingly enough, there's a second one on its way too. So QXC feels like he's in a position where I think he could do a lot of damage with these Reapers before any significant amount of units actually makes its way out. Oh, and there's the Zerglings out right now. We're going to see if he can pick off these Lings as best he can. There goes down one. And just circling around these drones, QXC with his trademark, very strong micro, just finding every little hole that he can. And once that second Reaper joins in, he can begin picking off those Zerglings a lot more easily. And he is on the way, coming up from the underside as well. It's going to probably rally them up together. First Reaper did take a couple hits from the Queen, but now going to move in. Goodbye, Creep Tumor. And that's actually a crappy way to lose uh, Creep Tumor there. That's an energy that could be additional units, mm -hmm. and you've just stopped your Creep from spreading uh, to your natural. So that was actually devastating. I would be so upset right now. I would have just GG'd. So <laughs> it does look like we see these double Reapers trying to actually pick this queen off. The queen's actually at a half health. QXC doing a good job of trying to eliminate them, and Machine Knows can't really invest in more Zerglings because of the fact that they'll be so easily picked off. I mean, QXC looks at trying to pick those Zerglings off, gets two for free. A third Reaper is now finished at the front of the base. And in particular, another Reaper is being made, and look at all these barracks going down for QXC with a factory. QXE using uh, the very old school mass reaper opening to really keep Zerg on his feet. 28 health on that queen. Oh man, that would be a huge loss if he picked that queen off. 
Yeah, Speed is uh, just to get got started a few moments ago. We now have three Reapers up here, which is going to be more devastating on these off creep queens. Going up, we could uh, we could potentially lose uh, at least one more over here. He's not moved his spine crawler up, but it looks like he's going to retreat out now. Four Reapers in tow. Mm -hmm. And interestingly enough, more Reapers coming out from QXC. It looks like he's doing that old school style of mass Reaper. Will he end up getting the speed upgrade, the Nitro Packs? Yes, he does. There's oh, the Nitro wow. Pack upgrade going down for QXC. We have not seen this style in ages. People used to love to do this. Maro popularized it. Uh, but everyone kind of quit doing it after there was that Roach boost. But we see Machine looking to be in a very rough situation anyways. Zerglings are heading in, and speed is about to finish. But there just are not a lot. And oh my god, if these Reapers get these slow Zerglings, it is going to be bad news for Machine. That is the only force that he's got right now. The Nitro Packs will be finishing. They're only about 40% right now. And Baneling Nest coming out. I like this play by Machine. He's going to try to use the fact that QXC is going to be very low on general defense. QXC is all aggression with all of these uh, Reapers. If he can get the Banelink speed really quickly, he can go for an early bust of this expansion. This sort of scouting factory is very revealing of uh, a big mass infantry play, and we see more Reapers coming out for QXC. He even has a big stockpile of money. Macroing very well. Ladies and gentlemen, steal this build from QXC. Look at that, eight barracks in production. Now, I'm curious to see uh, with battling speed if it actually, if he goes for it, he does have lair down. Uh, I, I assume that it could wreck these Reapers pretty badly, but uh, Absolutely. you'd have to micro that well. So anyway, curious to see that. Uh, factory still floating around, getting a good idea on everything that is happening. The Spire's 50%, more Lings coming out. And uh, we do, uh, we, I was trying to see just more barracks going down as well. Yeah, and QXC moving in more. with a massive force of nitro-boosted Reapers. This is something that Zergs have not seen in a long time. We do see that that one Spire oh, no. is getting pretty close to finishing. And there's the scan, and uh-oh, uh-oh, getting a little bit too surrounded. QXC trying to micro back, but those Reapers are not spreading their attacks out well enough. So it looks like most of the Reapers do get picked off, but QXC still is alive with a substantial amount of those Reapers now darting around, trying to pick off this Queen, trying to do as much damage as he can. Has two of them in the yellow life, and it looks like he... Oh! oh. An unsuccessful attack by QXC. That is the late game play that Machine is known for. But QXC does have eight barracks finished right now. More Speedlings moving in. Going to take out another Reaper and a few low ones. They're just going to play up and down these cliffs. He needs to split those Lings. Is trying to, but just not getting it done. He'll go ahead and leave them right there. Meanwhile, we do have a third base going down for Machine. Well, all this has happened. And now we've got Marauder Heavy uh, with a few Marines thrown there in there as well. Stim and Combat Shields on the way. And the first Mutas have popped. Looks like QXC still trying to micro to maximize the use of these Reapers. This is Sergeant Reaper with 10 kills, and it looks like more Mutalists now swing to the front side. Does QXC have enough to defend? He has two Marines. Oh, where did the Marine production go? Oh. QXC went Reapers a little bit too long, and the Mutalists are now having easy cleanup. Huge swell of Reapers now dashing to the left side to possibly pick this off, but oh, oh no, doesn't even manage to pick off that one turret and elk. If QXC can stay alive through this, he just has so much money that he could do a giant swing back attack. Looks like we have some Zerglings trying to pick off the Expo, but no, the Reapers will cause it to fall. Oh, that's a bummer losing that third base, but he did kind of anticipate that as being a possibility. Reapers look like they might get taken out, but look at Off Creep doing a great job. In come the Mutas to finally save the day, but not before losing a ridiculous amount. And actually, those Nitro Pack Reapers are incredibly fast, making it difficult for these Mutas to uh, go after him. In fact, he's now split his army, so he's got to be careful about that. Factory's still floating out and seeing everything that's going on there and uh, another so he went still mass barracks play from QXC is he getting any sort of other command center yep there's one going down right now gas build up we do see that the combat shield the stim upgrades are all done every single one of those tech lab upgrades are finished oh. and here comes a bunch of mutilists flying directly into some marines end up getting picked off by that last turret. But in the resource station, we see the QXC still ahead of machine and food. But look at how many bases machine has gotten the chance to throw down. Just an incredible expand Zerg.
E, uh, EG Machine goes for 13. Baneling Morse right here. I don't know if he ever got speed. It looks like he did sneak that in there sometime. And here comes this base moving forward. He switched over to almost exclusively a Marine Army. Machine saw it because all the Mutalists spotted it. And this army could get absolutely chewed alive. He's going to stim one Marine and bring him forward. Oh my god. The Banelings moved right out of the way. I don't think the Marine saw it. And I think the Scorch uh -oh. is going to move uh -oh. in. Perfect attack coming up here. And QXC's going to have to micro perfectly, but that is not the micro that he needed. The Bane Links crashed through that wad of Marines, and QXC's entire force has been absolutely decimated, but QXC still hanging on in the food count machine, doing an amazing job holding everything off, has the two Evo chambers down, is going for the usual Zergling, Baneling, Mutalisk force, needs to spread creep a little bit more, but I just cannot believe how fast Machine is taking these expansions. Doing a great job. Well, expansion number one right next to him at his third is getting up. More drones being created. He's got more Zerglings and more Mutalisks coming out. His Muta numbers are real nice right now. We're all looking at uh, about 14 Mutas. We've got six more on the way. He's st continuing up with that drone production. Now he's spreading his creep out there, uh, Day, and uh, also sending some Lings around the map too.